Hey guys, we are back on Friday Night Football, presented by Mudhead, brought to you by Grubhub. Be sure to use that code TOUCHDOWN uh, for $10 off your first order of $15 or more. It is finals time. We've got Canes versus Poppin joining action in the first quarter. Four minutes. Uh, we just started this puppy, and we have got, uh, let me see here. An interception, interception is what we right got. off the bat. Wow. Pavin, how about that? Uh, how about this matchup in our finals? We got Pavin, who is the lone belt-winning representative of the MCS side, and then Keynes, who's not definitely not somebody who is, uh, I would say, he's he's been to, I would say, probably the third or fourth most MCS live events, but he also has an FNF championship, so he's on the FNF championship side. Something's got to give here. But it is Pavin with the big stop to open this ball game, and he's going to start on offense. This is going to be your mirror matchup, your bunch week versus bunch week, 3-3-5 three, three, versus 3-3-5. Three, three, we're going to switch over, and I believe we're watching this from Kane's point of view here as Ron Parker gets the sack. Yes, the defensive point of view, this is DNA Kane's that we're watching. Higher quality stream here, so we'll stick with this for right now. Cool. Yeah, sounds good. A lot of people were saying earlier that uh, they weren't getting the resolution they were looking for that we were putting out for the stream. Just a reminder, uh, we're picking up these feeds right from the players' streams. So just a reminder on that. We've got uh, Pavin dropping back and goes down under serious pressure from Keynes on the seven-yard line right now. So he did get that interception, but he is pinned deep in his own territory right now. Good defense here from Keynes after that lurk by Pavin. Backed all the way up, and here's pressure. He's going to get that ball out just in time. The post It's going to make it fourth down and manageable. We'll see if Pavin goes for it. I would assume he would here. I mean, we've seen guys go for it on fourth and four from their own four, so the 28. Great play to eat up a lot of those yards that he needed to get this first down. He's made it a very manageable fourth and four from the 28-yard line here. Guys, the chat is calling for Barry Sanders right now. Let's go ahead and chant his name in the chat. We're going to do a keyword giveaway for one ultimate legend, Barry Sanders, coming your way tomorrow in Ultimate Team. Guys, a reminder, give him two business days over there at EA to get those. Oh. Wow. Wow. What just happened, my Pass friend? interference. Ronnie Lott got there a hair early. The big click on hit stick by Keynes is going to cost him big time field position. Ronnie Lott has just been a savage out there. And that play, no different here. First and 10 from the 33. Again, Keynes with just some serious pressure off the edge. Vaughn Miller with the patented Vaughn Miller dance right there. Nice sack. Former Texas A&M Aggie, you you would know about pass rushers from Texas A&M, wouldn't I you? I know a little thing, a little thing or two about that. I know about a few Aggies, as a matter of fact, over there. Some that I'd rather not mention, as a matter of fact, as well. This guy, remember this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we won't mention. He was a pretty good guy. quarterback, wasn't he? I mean, in college, you know, pros you know, uh, <laughs> at the Alouettes, maybe up in Cal Canada. Oh, he got cut by I them know, too. No, he wasn't even that. He got cut. Uh, chat might know who we're talking about there, but uh, guys, we have the Barry Sanders winner right now. Let me get to that name. Congratulations to C. Burdett. One, two, two, Ooh. four. Look for that uh, whisper out from Rockets. We need your PSN or your Xbox ID or your origin as well. I've seen C. Burdett in a number of community streams, including my own over the last year. So congratulations to him on that win. That's a nice little item you're going to add to your team. Again, guys, as Goo was saying during that big uh, penalty, allow for uh, two business days. So uh, if you don't have it by Wednesday, then let us know. We'll, we'll handle it from there. But give EA the benefit of, of two days to get you that grant. Uh, sw uh, sw Swindle games knew we were talking about Johnny by the way he knew he knew Johnny Manziel all right guys we're waiting for the response from the winner there don't worry we will re-roll that Barry with no remorse if there is no answer uh, Zan knows him so he might have a little remorse but uh, I think Boogs has eventually rubbed off on me here and zero remorse from this guy we'll re-roll if you don't answer See how I heel turn by the end of the, the show. It's You're a bad influence on me, man. <laughs> it only took four hours, but we <laughs> finally see the heel turn. So you see the bugs in the dice emote. Oh, so good. Good guy bugs, but, he man, he'll, he'll turn quick if you're not following the channel. 19-yard line here. Uh, Pavin on the drive. Keynes has a hard-hitting, aggressive defense, but uh, Pavin just chipping away right now, little by little, up to the 19-yard line, third and eight. 
Oh, we got a little bit of freeze. Again, guys, we're watching the feeds of the players here. So a lot of times the tech issues on their end uh, as that pass is incomplete. Uh, Kane's defense, again, just coming late. Late play off the edge there for uh, what looked like a sack, but uh, was able to get the ball out right beforehand. Fourth and eight through the uprights for three points. Pop up by three. It's always big to get points off the turnover. That big interception by Ron Parker to open up the ball game. Canes went to that corner route, threw it a hair early. And uh, anytime you get three points without, you know, your opponent scoring on their first drive, that puts you in the driver's seat as you're going to have ball at half. So uh, in terms of game management, definite advantage to Pobbin. These uniforms are kind of growing on me as we, as we roll along here. Don't tell anybody. Yes, uh, I'm O Zan O. I'll just type in the chat for those that were wondering. And an interception, Another huge one. interception by Pavin. Second of the game, all the way to the 36 yard line, instant field position for our guy. Two throws, two interceptions that we've seen here since we tuned into this final, and it's all Pavin right now. Got an opportunity to go down and make this uh, a two score game, but not if DNA Keynes' defense has anything to do with it. Anthony Brown. He's already got a, a sack and a half here early in this first quarter. Uh, first time Pavin has won more than one game in this tournament after his seventh appearance. That is definitely a crazy stat. In the finals tonight, looking to take home that K. Tony Relly, not Tony Reale, at Cap 24, our uh, stat guy in the back. He comes up with uh, – that's a really interesting one right there. I mean, who would have thought a belt winner with over 100K in MCS earnings would be, like, below 500 in MC or in uh, Friday Night Football. Friday Night Football, right? Coming yeah, into exactly. this tournament. Yeah, that definitely something you wouldn't think about. All right, 35-yard line, third and nine right now. Mm, we're getting a little, uh, little trouble on the side of the users here. We'll see if we can get through it. And this is why everyone streams in Friday Night Football, because when one stream suffers, we can go right over to the other one, and that's going to be Anthony Brown with another sack. Shout out to our guy Bill back there on the production staff. No hesitation whatsoever. Right over to the other game. Pro move. Dot move, my friend. Thank you. Fourth and 11. Got the field goal unit on the field. Let's see if he can put it over the upright. We've had a couple doinks tonight, and it is good. Pavin goes up 6-0 to zero in the first quarter. Got a lot of football left here for Canes. Must be a little bit of wind in this one, although they are in the Mile High City, Denver. I'm not sure. Do you know, is the altitude accounted for with a little extra distance on kicks in Denver? You know, I, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, well, you would think it would be right. Like uh, it's kind of like a no-brainer that it would be. But is that in the Madden code? Well, it makes you wonder. They're playing. They're playing in Denver. And Dan Bailey, who is a guy that's range is only about 52, 53. He made that 54 with ease right there. So yeah, maybe yep. your stadium choice actually makes your kicker play up a little bit. Everybody here. at Clint Oldenburg on Twitter right now and ask him <laughs> if the Denver stadium you get a little more air under your kicks because of the altitude. Also tell him who sent you and that we all love him. I'll tell you what, if that's the case, genius play by, uh, well, let's see, who's the home team here? Solids or Canes? And that's going to be another interception. This time it's Poole. Three throws, three interceptions. That is amazing. I can't even tell if that's just uh, uh, Pavin stick skills or Canes bad reads right there. Maybe a little combination of both. I think right there maybe a little bit rushed on the throw, got hit a little bit, kind of ducked a little bit, and uh, Poole kind of sat underneath and waited, but... Yeah, Pavin's defense is for real in this one so far. Yeah, I mean, Keynes has got himself a little defense there, too, as well. He's only kept um, uh, Pavin the six points. So, you know, he's driven down the field a couple times, been able to hold him to that field goal. So we've got a pretty good defensive matchup here. Keynes very aggressive uh, off the edges with his blitz. And there's and an interception to Keynes' own. Beautiful. That's going to be a walk-in touchdown. Lovely here in the finals. You love to see it. Pick six into the end zone there. That's either, if I can't tell if that's Ronnie Lott or that uh, Blunt. I believe it's that Lott that's been all over the field tonight. The out of position, cornerback Ronnie Lott. He played himself some cornerback in the NFL as, as well as strong safety, and he has been lurking. I'll tell you what, you put that one on a tee right there, talking about Keynes being resilient, even though his offense hasn't gotten anything going. And I was just about to say, I was like, I'll tell you what, if Pavin doesn't really start to expand on that lead, it could get really scary for him. Because once Keynes settles in and he's got that defense already going, 
it could happen quickly and the momentum would shift. But just like that, he gets on the board, takes the lead without his offense doing a thing. Yeah, he's like, you know what? Forget offense, forget passing. I'm just going to do this on the defensive side of the ball. Punches it in the end zone and gets on the board. And look at Ooh. it, juking and jiving. Randy Moss down the sidelines, tippy-toeing, staying in, staying on his feet. Absolutely amazing stick skills there by Pavin to keep Randy Moss on his feet. A couple of amazing moves there, all the way down to the 36-yard line, first and 10 with four minutes left in the second quarter. Went to a stick juke and branched into a spin move as soon as he came down, spun back to the outside. A little tightrope action. Big game there for Pavan. Guys, anytime you see those And another, oh this is a duck. God. And he is gone. He has taken it all the way to the end zone. 10-5 touchdown Canes. Amazing defensive play from Canes. Two pick sixes in two minutes. Unbelievable work. Five. All right. <sighs> Spicy tuna roll. Nice. California roll. Sushi. I take it. Delivering from over 95,000 restaurants nationwide. If you want it all, you can get it all. Grubhub. Restaurants you love delivered. So we've been playing just over four minutes of football, and we have five interceptions in a $1,000 game of Madden. I'm going to give you the Ron Burgundy. Well, that ex uh, escalated quickly. No I'm lie. We're talking wow. about five interceptions. These are two of the best players in the world, and everyone in the chat's like, hey, these reads are horrible. These reads are horrible. When the money is on the line, things change, period. Aggressive Canes defense here, over three rushers, making it to the backfield. Minus four yards total yardage for Joe Mixon so far in this game, sir. <laughs> you've got <laughs> you've got Anchorman quotes in the chat. Yeah, it was a trident. <laughs> Look what we started. There was a man on fire and a horse. <laughs> I just went back and watched that movie legit last week. It's just one you can put on at any time, really. Going to go underneath here. So we see a little bit more of a <clears throat> excuse me, conservative approach by Pavin. Uh, he ran the ball to open up that drive after back-to-back -back pick sixes and then takes a check down read. So just trying to take a breath, slow down. And it, 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 he originally had all the momentum. And now yeah. it's all Canes. Absolutely. And I think both of the guys both need to settle down a little bit, take a breath, ease back into their armchairs, and uh, just get into their games right now. The picks, uh, that many in a row, can really break his scheme. Unbelievable. Oh, no. What is going on in this ball game? I'm telling you, Canes is playing the most. Uh, and he's on his feet on still. He's still going for the end zone. And he pushes it in. Unbelievable touchdown by Canes. What a quarter. My mind is absolutely blown right now with all of the changes of possession. All of the pick sixes, something you rarely see in a finals game like this, Zan. I'm, and the I'm chat is in a glass box of emotion. Oh, my God. I'm out of my seat. I don't know if you guys are at home, but this is the finals that we were thinking we were going to get when we first looked at this bracket, Zan. Why we were so excited for tonight. Why we have 9,000 viewers in the chat right now. And why we come out to you guys each and every Friday night. If I told you that Canes would throw interceptions on his first three passes of the ball game not <laughs> i would have called you insane bro zero offensive yards and be up 21 to 6 with three minutes to go in the in the second quarter what would you have told me i uh, i would have i would have put any money on that and bet you immediately there was no way i could have envisioned that happening and we have got some amazing exciting football out here for you canes up 21 to 6 over pavin 25 yard line just man we're just halfway in through the second quarter tried to throw another pick oh my god unbelievable this is insane the defense right now on both sides is insane Keynes is fortunate to have three defensive touchdowns to go with the zero total yards of offense and Pavin with the three interceptions of Keynes has only turned that into six points with good field position these guys said guru I am not sitting back in my chair I am not taking it easy I am being aggressive I'm gonna pick the ball off and I'm gonna take it to the end zone Underneath, he's going to move the chains here. You have to just settle down right now. It's easier said than done. Just got to right the ship if you're Pavin and kind of rest on knowing that Keynes has done nothing on offense either. Just got to get it. You just got to get it turned around right now. There's plenty of football left. Yeah, I mean, we are literally two minutes left in the second quarter. 21 to 6. So much action Another already. pressure from Ron Parker. How about the game he is having right now? Yeah, just Kane sending that pressure. I think we've got to be up to about six or seven sacks right now on Michael Vick. Kane's just being relentless, as my guy RG says. 
Pavin's drowning. Pour a bucket of water on him right now. Keep sending that aggressive defense. And our guy Oreo in the chat says comebacks are always possible. Absolutely. Oreo down by 17 in our championship match a few weeks ago. Came back in all the way from that deficit and won. So he knows that this is possible. Great spin move there over the middle. Guys, yeah, exactly. So much time left here. We are at the highest level of Madden right now with Canes and Pavin. So anything is possible. Not talking about two scrubs here. Bunch to the field side. Julio Jones on the short side of the field. Vic flushed out to the left. Going to go to that corner route. There you go. Start Dumps going it in, in the, the bucket, right direction. You see right here, Pavin 10 of 13, but those two interceptions have been so crucial for Canes. Both of them return for a touchdown. Yeah, great, uh, great little pass over there on the sidelines. Again, uh, Pavin not done by any means. We are still in the first half here. And again, just a, already an amazing finals match here on Friday Night Football. Uh, Vic back to pass, throwing left out to the flat. Another spin move there. Uh, couldn't get quite, uh, couldn't get away. Makes the tackle. We're now down to the 25-yard line. One minute left in the first half. We got Canes dominating the first half, 21 to six. I'll tell you what. Right now with Pavin, you got to take a look at the pressure that Canes is trying to send. Right now, Canes knows that Pavin is leaving Joe Mixon in to block quite a bit. He's only sending a five-man pressure, and typically when you block the running back, that'll allow the gap pressure from that blitzing linebacker great read right there over the middle touchdown and that's exactly what Pavin needed but I'll finish my my thought here real quick uh, with that particular blitz you notice that he sent Joe Mixon on a route yeah and that linebacker got blocked by the left guard when you block the running back sometimes that tells the left guard go help the center double team and it allows that guy coming through from depth and that's what we've seen from Canes Makes now sense. that he's settled down and realized okay it's a five-man pressure I can leak the running back out gives him time in the pocket he finds the end zone for a touchdown that's beautiful. And like we were just saying, Pavin, not down, not out. Great read right there down the middle. Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, returning the ball here for Canes. I'm not sure if that's that movers item in Madden Ultimate Team, one of the best items in the game. Uh, but we're closing out the uh, first half here with Canes, 21 to 13. Pavin getting a little momentum there, though, getting in the end zone, thankfully. But we're winding down in what has been a crazy first half of football. Now, Kane's back on offense. We'll see if he's settled down with the picks uh, that he's gotten in all those uh, defensive touchdowns. You see right there, uh, they did start before we started the coverage, but since we tuned in, it's been nothing but interceptions for Kane's. Uh, he has four of eight, but all four of those completions were before we started the, uh, the championship match coming back from the break. Underneath, he high points that. I think that was a little unnecessary. He could have just thrown that and taken the yardage. But a lot of times players are used to throwing that ball and uh, needing that high point animation to hold on to it. All right, guys, we're almost done with the first half here. Kane's third and 10 from the 30-yard line of Pavin. You know, probably looking to put on a couple more points here before the half just to kind of shear things up and keep the momentum. Beckham Jr. over the middle, keeps possession of the ball, comes up just short of the first down, fourth and four. See if we get a punt here. Like you said, you don't think it's going to happen. I think this is a punt spot. No, actually, no, it's not a punt spot. Just go to the, just go to halftime right here. Pavin doesn't yeah, have any time Yeah, let it rock. Yeah, absolutely. Now, speaking of o Odell, while we got a few seconds, what do you think about him not showing up to OTAs over the last couple of days? You know, I don't I don't like to see it, man. As an old football coach myself, I just I coached at the youth level, and it's just, uh, you know, just not showing is not a good, uh, you know, example for the team. You've certainly got all eyes on you out there right now in the media. Just so, every move so scrutinized for OBJ. Don't give him the ammo. Just don't, you know. Um, hey, nice run by Eddie George here. You know he is going to truck stick the first defender to get there. Certainly did in that case. You know, but they have to be – you've got a second-year quarterback – Working, working with a receiver. You have to get the timing right. He's got to be there. It's voluntary. I get all of this, but I hate to see it in the media right now. Don't give him any ammo. Nice spin move by Rod Woodson. Getting some space here. Wow, spin move out of the tackle as well. Unbelievable return. Taking it all the way down to the 39-yard line. Rod Woodson, great return man. Tell you what, MVP of that play is that backup tight end. Krieger, is it Koble? Krieger Koble. Decent speed right there, just enough to uh, knock Rod Woodson out of bounds right there. Had he had a minimum cap player, that most certainly would have been a touchdown. Uh, 4.44 here left in the third quarter. Still a long way to go in this one, guys. Uh, Pavin staking a claim here to a comeback, a possible comeback. Second and five, 13 to 21. Um, 
and we're, he's basically been moving the ball at will right now. You see right there, there's that five-man pressure. You saw that the, the guy comes straight through the gap at the running back, and it's very tough to escape because the running back cut blocks him. Vic trips over the guy laying on the ground, and it's a covered sack. Right there, again, it's very tough when the money's on line, but you have to realize what the blitz is, what the best protection is, and in some cases, the five-man pressure, you just need to leak the running back out. Yeah, it's Kane still with the great pressure here from the D-line and the outside linebackers. Looks like he's doing the same right here. Yeah, plenty of pressure from the outside linebackers. He's lurking with the hidden defender. Woodson's almost sliding in for the pick right there. Incomplete, out of bounds. Looks like he actually did catch the ball. Couldn't stay in bounds. Fourth and 12 from the 41-yard line. Going right back into the offensive playbook and bringing him back out on the field. You see right here, it looks like Keynes is going to send everyone Look for both the outside linebackers to blitz and that nickel corner that's stacked behind the outside linebacker on the right, trying to send three guys at that right side. No, he calls off the dogs. It's a spy. Vic, nowhere to go. He's going to throw it in traffic. Great defense by DNA. Canes to force the turnover on downs. One-on-one -on -one defense down the field. Vic under pressure. I think a hand got on the Vic while he made that throw. Could have really put a different spin on that ball and it made it sail out of bounds. Good defense by Canes. Takes over on offense on the 41-yard line. Drops back to pass and dumps it over to Odell. Beckham Jr. with one spin move to, to uh, miss a defender. Takes it to the 49-yard line. Almost into Pavin's side of the field. Going to take a quick second, be a little sappy, give a shout out to my wife, Katie, who is watching from Springfield, Illinois. She says that we're doing a great job. She says that you're awesome, Mike. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, man. I definitely appreciate that. Man is in her. Thank you. <laughs> hey, we got Big Kep in the uh, in the chat here just ragging on my Browns and ragging on uh, Odell. So he's happy to see Odell in Cleveland, uh, apparently. So he says enjoy the drama, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Corner route to Julio. He's going to get two feet in, down wow. to the 10. That was a great catch on the sideline, Zan. Both toes inbounds there. Couldn't have made a better throw to take it to the 10-yard line. Kane's flexing some muscles right now. I told you earlier. Oh, pressure off the left side. Oh, look at the stick work by Keynes. Just able to elude the blitzing nickel corner off that left side. He slides down to the two. It's going to be second down and two, so he can pick up a first down without getting a touchdown here. But I was saying earlier, Keynes, when he settles in, it's going to get scary for Pavin because he hasn't really had anything on offense yet. Yeah, exactly, exactly right. Like, we had legit hadn't seen his offense. We've just seen so much of his defense walking it into the end zone. Everybody's defense taking it to the end zone right here uh, that he hadn't had a chance to get his groove. So just like you said, like, hey, watch out here for Keynes getting in his groove. He hasn't even had a chance uh, to get his scheme rolling. And we see a touchdown right there, right up the middle. And a little good game uh, on the rump right there. Lamar Jackson gives his t uh, gives the opposition there. <laughs> nice touchdown, and Kane's in full control, 28 to 13. One minute, 42 seconds left in the third quarter of what is a Friday night football final, FNFF. This is an incredible matchup. It's been a very high action game, a lot of turnovers. Look at the stick work by Julio. He made three guys miss with jukes and spins. He just told me, you know, don't talk about my open field ability. I'm yeah, done with it. He heard you clearly there. With that sticks, let's get some stick skills in the chat right there, guys. If you uh, sub to Mudhead TV, you get some great emotes there, including the uh, penalty flag, the red flag, the dice emote, the fours in the chat, the sub hype, the hundred, and of course, worth the price of a mission, one. Bugs. Julio Jones goes up and gets that monster catch, which brings Pavin down to the 33 yard line. We talked about this Julio Jones, Zan. He has been popping off the screen all night long, whether it's been return man, whether it's making a move, whether it's pulling down a big catch on the sideline. He's been everywhere. You see right there that underneath drag. Keep taking that. You got to take what's given to you. Get yourself back in this game, down 15. Field goal is not an option anymore for Pavin going forward. You have to end every single drive going here on out with a touchdown. So it's important to just keep the ball moving forward, stay on schedule, and make any fourth downs that you might unfortunately come into be possible. And let's not for let's not forget protect the rock. It's we've had so many turnovers in this game. Take the sack instead of throwing an interception at this point, though, Zan. More defense. Anthony Brown with his third sack of the ball game. 
And this defense is just absolutely screaming for Canes. Yo, Bugs, my guy in the chat. Let's we summoned him with the Bugs. His emotes. ears must have been ringing. He did. We were talking mad stuff about Bugs. What's up, my guy? Welcome to the show. We've got a hell of a finals for you, my friend. We're missing you here at the studio, Bugs. Hope you're having a good week off, man. Yeah, I had a I had a thirst for wheatgrass for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> you've, you've caught me on the one day you're oh, not here. I'm far. thirsty for wheatgrass. No, that's too far. Not nobody's thirsty for I'm wheatgrass. I'm just saying. Next time he's here, I'm not going to be. He caught me on the. He, he missed me on the one day, and I'm thirsty <laughs> for it. Look at this scramble by Vic. Oh, oh, oh my God! I knew the ball another, was coming out. <laughs> another hit stick. Ronnie Lott showing up to play, and Ed Reed is going to pick up that loose football. When I saw him not go for the slide and just stand straight up into that hit, I was like, there is no way that Michael Vick is holding onto that ball right there. Again, you got a fourth down, a clutch trait situation, and Ronnie Lott just lays the lumber. And now Keynes with a two-score lead. He's going to go oh to the God. run game, and here's Big Eddie George. Just rumble, stumble, bumble. Mr. Former tight, Mr. Former Ohio State Buckeye, Eddie George, just making the plays out there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Boogs said about the wheatgrass, nobody's that damn thirsty. <laughs> uh, send me some, Boogs. I'll, I'll make you a vid. I'll make you a vid. Hey, I forgot. These guys are lucky. The 3 million Scoville hot sauce we talked about the last time I was going to come and burn out Zan and Rockets with the KFC. Totally forgot about it. So yeah, I wish you were here for that. I'll tell you what, if we commentate again, you need to bring the last dab because I'm a big time Hot Ones fan. Yes. I, I love that YouTube series. So is my wife. Yeah. We, we watch it all the time. You guys should actually order it. They, they sell their hot sauces on the heat nest and uh, check them out for sure. We've got, the, we've got close to the whole line at home. All right, so back to the finals here. We got Lamar Jackson uh, handed it off again to Eddie George. Strip animation, no dice with Eddie George just with that strength, holding on to the rock, gripping the ball, putting his handprints in that ball. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Put up your fours in chat. We are in the fourth quarter of our finals here on Friday Night Football. This is for all the money, all the marbles, all the ducats. And we look like Keynes is in full control here at 28 to 13. Crazier things have happened. We've got a board full of timeouts out there, and we've got two Madden professionals out there. This game is far from over. My eyes might be lying to me, but I think that said that Vic only has four, or his quarterback, Lamar Jackson, rather, only has 14 passing yards this game. I, I need to see that again. Pressure here from Pavin, and he's going to get the turnover on downs. It's not over yet. Yeah, rare pressure there off the edge uh, this game, at least from Pavin. Take down Lamar Jackson. Pretty big play right there. Uh, getting the ball back in striking distances is exactly what Pavin needed. Kane's going to stick with the pressure here. Goes to that hitch route. Right now, if you're Pavin, you might consider going a little up-tempo. It's very tough with the short rosters in salary cap, but you need to preserve those timeouts. The clock's ticking. And Keynes is only going to uh, continue to send pressure at you. You need to be able to just, you know, take your, your check downs. Wow. And, hey, what what check down? Corner route, <laughs> touchdown, Pavin. Oh, man, we got a great three minutes of football on the way here. $1,000 on the line. He says, take your check down and shove it. We're going to home dirt, pay dirt, end zone. So good right there, 28 to 20. Like we said, we've got two Madden professionals playing at the highest level here. This is what we came for. This is what we've been hanging out for. Odell Beckham bringing it out again uh, for Canes, getting it up to about the uh, 30 right now and breaking free. This could be some Odell Beckham outrunning the last defender, going to take it all the way, 10-5 touchdown for Canes. Take that, Pavin. Unbelievable answer right from that touchdown. And Kane's back in control. How about this game? Back and forth in every way possible. It started off with Kane's throwing three interceptions back to back to back. Pavin did not capitalize on that. Only six points off those turnovers. Then Kane's comes storming back with three defensive touchdowns. Then Pavin scores to make it a one-score game, followed by the kick return. I mean, I, what, what more is coming in this, this game? This is football, baby. Pick six, pick six, fumble six. Kick return TD. I mean, I, it's you, you don't see it too often. 
And We're seeing see, it tonight, guys. And you see the importance of having some speed in your uh, your bench players. That Krieger Koble saved a touchdown earlier on the kick return. No Krieger Koble there to the edge. And you saw Odell turns that upfield for the touchdown. The app turns on the absolute wheels there at about the 40-yard line, just outrunning. I'm not sure who that last defender was, but got absolutely smoked. More pressure. He fortunately got that ball out, so it's going to be an incomplete pass. But you see right here, again, He's going down the oh, field. And he's got a step. And that's Randy Moss. First down. He beat the uh, Sean Taylor right there. That has to be a, uh, a scouting report read right there. I don't think that the safety was in a deep half. That was probably an inside quarter that allowed him to get that throw down the sideline. Oh, he got a camera switch. Let's see what Pavin does here. That was accidental. Going to go back in the end zone. Touchdown, One touchdown. Unbelievable. Great call, Zan. Knew that was going to happen with the camera switch right there. Great call, dude. Unbelievable. He still made the read on that camera switch. I guarantee you he did not intend for that to happen at all. Last night, however, yeah, we saw that, that was everyone, intended. <laughs> everyone in the community championship used a different camera. That was intended. Pavin, With that was fat a huge thumb read. Right there. We usually do fat thumb giveaways. That was the fat thumb camera angle change right there. And absolutely huge. 27 to 35. Here comes Odell again with nasty double spin. He Ronnie brings a tackle. Bring down, still on two his tackles. Feet. Wow. Odell, talk more about Odell in the chat, please, Big Cap. Please. Let's just, this guy is out there showing up right now. Don't need no right stinking now. OTAs. <laughs> don't need no stinking OTAs. OTAs? Don't need no stinking OTAs. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, big shout out to the chat, as always, sticking with us here. Some amazing games. Eddie George just, ooh, taking it on the nose uh, by Woodson right there, but breaking a few tackles beforehand. I still use this Eddie George myself as my third down back, my power back. He came out a long time ago, Zan, and is still very, very relevant. He looks like he's the biggest player in Mutt. I mean, he, his player model is enormous. Yeah, but yeah, he, he looks like he's uh, most feared morphed already out there. Lamar Jackson airing it out. Moss with a little bit of room. And Rod Woodson just all over the uh, with the defensive plays tonight, able to bring down Moss. There was a lot of grass in front of Moss right there. And guys, we are running out of time here. A minute and 30 seconds left on the 42-yard line. Kane's driving. We've got Pavin with 27 points. If we can, if Pavin can get this thing back and make it interesting, but we've got a first, uh, second down and 10, and no look to be stopping Kane's offense right now. No Moss, no Moss. And that means two things. No more Randy Moss. You can't allow any more completions <laughs> to him, and no Moss, no more yards. You can't allow yards, period. Look at this. Because that was in field goal range. That is the first down right there. That is a dagger run. When you say that you've seen those passing yards from Canes tonight, there is the reason why Mr. Eddie George has been in full control on the ground tonight along with Canes defense. Another draw call. Eddie George lays down. Just no reason to take it on the on the nose right there. Just lay it down. Keep the clock moving. Force Pavin to use his, uh, to his final timeouts here. And, uh, you know, maybe put another K in the bank tonight. It's looking like Keynes is going to join the two FNF Championship Club along with D. Croft, Clef, and I'm forgetting somebody. Rockets, help me out. Ant Cap, I need you, stat guy. <laughs> Calling in a stat on the fly. Another Eddie George handoff here just to end this game. Keep ticking away. Strafing, of course, strafing. I.B. Strafen, who was an early exit tonight. So we have four guys for eight of our four, 15 titles. Yeah, absolutely. We've got eight seconds of differential here on the play clock to the game clock. We're going to definitely get one last play here, whether it's the field goal uh, or a knee victory formation. We shall see what happens. But this one, guys, congrats to Canes. I believe this one is in the books. Congratulations on winning Friday night football this evening. Uh, heck of a tournament. We came in. We were so excited about this bracket, and the bracket it delivered absolutely phenomenal night of football this is probably our toughest field that we've had through the 15 events our last three events have certainly been our toughest three events again guys one more time if you want to apply to play in friday night football yourself hit exclamation point compete in the chat click that link that pops up from the night bot and flip, fill out that application i assure you there's a team of us here at Mutthead that go through every single application and we do extend invites to new guys there's guys like skins skins was an applicant uh, uh 
Justin, a.k.a. Dad Yogurt Lurk, he was an applicant. We do allow players to play in these. They do get opportunities. That is what this is about here in Friday Night Football. Yeah, no lies detected over here on this side of the desk. Uh, saw a little bit of the inside of that process today as we just kind of close out this game here. Guys, you have a chance. Apply, and these guys review. Uh, they take into special account. They take a look at histories. A lot of different things go into uh, picking those games. So, guys, it's it's awesome. Don't don't. Uh, don't think you don't have a chance is basically what I'm saying out there. So. Certainly do. Congratulations all around to DNA Canes, his second Friday Night Football Championship. Again, joining Strafen, Clef, and D. Croft. D. Croft's still the only back-to-back -back winner. We'll see if Canes can come back next week and defend his crown and join that exclusive club. But man, a thousand dollars for DNA Canes, and he's uh, he's becoming one of the uh, staples of these Mutthead League, not only Mutthead League, but Friday Night Football itself too. It's really awesome to see these guys get so excited about going through the bracket here at at Mutthead on Friday Night Football, and I am just I could not be more stoked. You know, a lot of hype for just things in general that sometimes let you down. This bracket and this hype, we were so excited to watch football tonight. Did not let us down. Big shout out to all the Madden competitors out there. Big thanks to you guys. We know you put in the work out there. We know you put in the hours. Big shout out to the community, the chat. I'm telling you what an amount of support. You guys think we're going to get out of here with the Kahuna without the Kahuna giveaway? We oh, are see not. You in the chat. That's right. We wouldn't do that to you. Let's throw up the Kahunas right now in that chat. I believe we're doing a Twitter giveaway. Zan, you want to tell them how that works? Okay, guys. So we're going to post the winning uh, players. Uh, Kane's Twitter account here in the chat. I believe uh, when Will gets a chance, he'll post that up as well. I want you guys to send a congratulatory tweet tagging Kane's. There's that Twitter handle at Kane's JP. <laughs> also tag Muttheads. So that way we can choose a random winner. All you have to do is have a Twitter account. You don't have to have a bunch of tweets. There's no preference to anybody. Send him a congratulatory tweet. And we will reach out from the Mutthead account to uh, let you know that you've won the big Kahuna giveaway. Again, for those that don't know what you can win, that is Levante David, positional hero, Geno Atkins, positional hero, Kevin Zeitler's positional hero, and then the two ultimate legends that are coming out tomorrow. That's Howie Long and Barry Sanders. One Barry Sanders coming to you via Colonel Sanders tonight. I'm sorry, I couldn't, Bill. I had to use it, man. It was too solid. That's a good uh, line. It is a great, it's a great line. Sanders and Sanders. <laughs> yeah, shout outs to KFC tonight. How about the tailgate? I think that I had, I am so full right now do, of KFC, <laughs> but it was absolutely, it was amazing between the extra crispy chicken, the uh, the spicy one that we had there, pretty strong, uh, the cinnamon biscuits. How can we even say oh, enough man. about that? So, hey guys, from us here at Mudhead and and Grubhub, and for KFC, we love you guys. You make, you make this possible. Thank you for coming out tonight. Zan, you got any parting words for our people? You know, this is something that we are building here every single week. Uh, you know, we've had some great... Uh, we've had guests that have become regulars like Goo. We've got guys like Nick Mazesco coming in to commentate. You guys in the chat make this possible every week. You guys support Grubhub. They support us. They bring in KFC to do the tailgate here tonight. Uh, if you can't tell, this thing is growing. It's taking off. This is something that is near and dear to my heart. I've been in this community for over a decade now trying to That's help it, grow competitive Madden. Uh, this is something that means a lot to me. I, I, it, I'm going to get choked up thinking about it. I'm man. telling you, it gets emotional, bro. I, f I totally feel you on that. When you talk about a decade of your life, yeah, that's a long time, man. It can get into your heart, into your soul, into your blood, into your sweat and tears. So no worries getting emotional. One guy that can tell you about that is this guy over here. Certainly. You know? So, uh, guys, the community, we're there with you. We're there uh, out there uh, just you know, loving the game, loving the community with you guys. All the support is absolutely off the, off the radar. We can't, we can't tell you guys enough how much we love you. And we're going to be back again very soon here with some more Friday Night Football. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll be back with you soon. Get in the lab, and good luck.